everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. I want to talk about the truth about carbohydrates, blood sugar, and reversing type 2 diabetes. So to begin with, we need to understand food's effect on our blood sugar. One step even before that is to understand a little bit more about our food. All the food that we eat falls into something called a macronutrient category. The macronutrients are proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and alcohol. We are gonna focus on the food. A very important thing is that these macronutrient categories have a very different impact on blood sugar. When we eat carbohydrates, our blood sugar rises. It rises quickly, peaks quickly, and then falls off just as fast. Now with proteins, the blood sugar response is better, but when we eat fat, the blood sugar response is flat, flat. And this is going to be very important in understanding why fat is going to be an important part of any science-based nutrition recommendation. Now, as we talk about these blood sugar responses and the three macronutrient classes, it's also important to understand that most of the food you eat is not just one of these things. A notable exception to this is oil. Oil is just fat. But most of the food that we consume is a combination of the macronutrients. So understanding how much of each one is in what you're eating is important. Let's take nuts, for example. Now, if we say nuts to some people, they may say, nuts, I associate that with protein. And if you think that, you're right. There is a good amount of protein in nuts. Others may say, to me, nuts are fatty. Also correct. Other people still may associate nuts with fiber, which is a carb. Correct a third time. So nuts have all three macronutrients in them. But which nut you choose is going to be a big factor in how much of the macronutrients are in them and therefore what the blood sugar response is. Let's take the difference between cashews and macadamia nuts. So macadamia nuts are very high fat. They actually have over 20 grams of fat in a serving and very low carb less than four grams of carbs in a serving. So the impact macadamia nuts have on blood sugar is going to be pretty minimal. Contrast that now with cashews. Cashews are not nuts, they're a fruit, but they are very high carb. So a consumption of the same serving size of cashews is going to have a very different impact on your blood sugar.